Is that Bigfoot? No, it's just a custom bush. So let's see how we can add it to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below. With over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we found ourselves back in Telejones more. And in this tutorial, we'll be adding a custom bush over here, including berries to Minecraft. So basically, this is going to be almost exactly like the sweet berry bush. However, it's going to be, well, both have, well, both, both be a custom bush as well as have custom berries associated with it. So for this, it's going to be very similar to the custom crop in the block custom package. We're going to right click new Java class, and this is going to be our goji berry bush block in this case, a block. There we go. And this will look kind of like this. It will extend from the sweet berry bush because, well, we can literally just extend from that, create constructor matching super. And we want to overwrite two methods. The first one is the get clone item stack method over here with the level reader. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to make a deliberate error because we don't have the item registered just yet. And then there's another one, and that is the, the use without item method. However, that one we actually literally can take from the sweet berry bush block as well. So control left click on this and inside of here, the use without item method, we can see this is the right clicking method. And when the age here in this case is at three, so basically meaning if the age is fully grown, right? If the sweet berry bush is fully grown, then we can get some sweet berries. In our case, we're obviously going to change this as well. But in this case, we can literally just copy over the entire method here. Just get this. Let's also add the add override. We don't need this, but just to make it absolutely clear that this has been overwritten. And then here, instead of the sweet berries, we're once again make, gonna make a deliberate error just in case so that we can change it. Because right now, once again, the custom berries actually are not yet implemented. If you want a bush that has more than four different ages, right? Of course, this once again has an age property that goes from zero to three. So if you have more stages, then obviously you will need to change the max age. You will need to change the age property. You will basically need to go through a similar type of process that we've done right here with the custom crop block. So you need to add the integer property and things like that. But if you don't have that, well, then we can literally just go on to our mod blocks class and actually register our custom bush over here. This is going to be a public static final deferred block of type block. And this is going to be the goji goji underscore berry underscore bush equal to once again, blocks that register is going to be the goji underscore berry underscore bush. Second parameter is going to be a supplier of a new goji goji berry bush block passing in a full copy of actually full copy of the blocks dot sweet berry bush here in this case. And there we freaking go. Now, why do we use blocks that register? Well, once again, the goji berry bush doesn't have a, an actual block f as an item. The item that is associated with the goji berry bush or with a bush in general is usually the berries themselves. So what we're going to do is add those freaking berries. Those berries are going to look kind of like this. They're going to be a public static final deferred item here of type item. Of course, this is going to be the goji underscore berries equal to items that register. It's going to be the goji underscore berries. And the second parameter here, once again, a new, and this is a new item, exactly item name block item, passing in mod blocks dot goji berry bush dot get, and then new item properties. We will, of course, also add a food property which we still have to add because of course goji berries or any berries you can eat those so a new food property let's just duplicate the radish right here and let's just see what we can change this is going to be of course goji underscore berry and no health boost here i think that that's a little bit too much however they are fast so you can basically eat them fast nutrition maybe a two and then saturation modifier a 0.15 i think that that's gonna be okay in terms of the numbers but of course those you can always change as well and then in the food method over here mod food properties dot goji berry absolutely fantastic adding this to the creative mode tab over here there's going to be the goji berries and then we can move on to the goji berry bush block again where in the clone item stack we want to make a new item stack in this case of mod items mod items dot goji berries here in this case dot get of course and in the use without item here in the item stack, we're also going to use mod items that goji berries that get. And just with this, now the bush is basically completely done. Let me think about this in terms of the functionality that is all done. We can then move on to data gen. 
Now, when it comes to data gen, mainly the loot, I'm going to copy this over once again. However, I will show you where you can basically find this and then you will see. Now, what we're going to have is we're going to have basically two different separate things here. The first one here is a registry lookup for an enchantment. So you can see we can literally just get this by this registry lookup and then for enchantments here. And we need this basically for the fortune enchantment because if you're using the fortune enchantment, well, then multiple goji berries will drop. Now, as you can see, this looks really complicated, but overall, it is really not as crazy as you might think. Basically, we are basically adding a particular, well, a particular drop to the goji berry bush. And this drop is a an explosion decay, meaning that on an explosion, you don't drop something or you do drop something depending on. And then we're going to say basically saying, well, there's two different modes, so to speak. When the age is three, that means that if it's fully grown, well, then we're going to add some goji berries over here basically two to three. And if it's not fully grown, then we're going to add one to two, right? So it's going to be dropping one to two goji berries when it's not fully grown at H2. And here at H3, it's going to drop two to three. That's literally all we're doing here. It looks super complicated, but there you go. And this should actually be, I believe, in the... Let me just uh, double check over here. You can basically find the exact same thing here in the vanilla block loot class, as you can see. And basically, this is exactly the same thing, just formatted a tiny bit differently. And, you know, the block hasn't been named or hasn't been named here in this case. So very straightforward in this case. I literally just taken this and added it here. And that should be fine for the loot in that case. When it comes to the block states, well, 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 we're going to have a similar type of thing that we have with the crop right here. And that's going to be a custom states method as well as a custom make bush method. Once again, we don't have access to the, you know, anything else here in a Neoforge. So we're going to just going to do make bush mod blocks dot bush. This is going to be the goji berry bush dot get dot cast casting this to the and we can either do a sweet berry bush or the other one sweet berry bush should be fine after the second closing parentheses we then want to add the goji underscore berry underscore bush underscore stage and we're going to duplicate this including the comma and that is going to be awesome that should be all we need here and then of course we still need an item model because well, we need to add the berries here and after we have that now we can go on to the assets as per usual Let's start at the bottom first. We have the goji berry bush over here that we're going to well also translate just in case. Just like I said with the crops over here, it just makes sense to add this. And then of course the goji berries. That's gonna be the goji berries over here. Goji berries, absolutely freaking fantastic. And then of course the textures, which will also be available to you down below. First of all, we're gonna have four different stage textures for the berry itself. It's gonna be the well the berry block right here, and then also the berries under the item, of course. And that's going to be the goji berries. Absolutely fantastic. And there we go. And there we have it. Now, this should be, in theory, everything that we need for our custom bush blocks. So let's first of all run data gen over here because well, we want to get all of those great JSON files generated. And once those are done, well, we have everything we need. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. Oh, I found it back in Minecraft. As you can see, the goji berries have been successfully added to the game, and I can even set them down. As you can see, I slow down when I move through them. They actually, this one grew very, very fast. But I mean, that is the idea of random ticks, I guess. And of course, what we can do is we can also have them grow like this. And then here they are fully grown. So I can right click them and get some goji berries out. And of course, if I were to let this grow fully as well, there you go. I go to survival mode this one is going to give me two goji berries or sometimes only one well there you go another two and this one can give me between two and three absolutely awesome this one doesn't give me anything and there we go and what's also pretty cool is when they are grown because well this all derives from the sweet berry well they also will hurt me when i go through absolutely fantastic and that is custom bushes added to minecraft awesome and that's gonna be it for this tutorial right here next time in this video we'll talk about custom origin hope to see you there so yeah